listen, listen. Don't look at the date that this Q&A came out, okay? Just know that it is a 45k Q&A, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, nice. Good. Now nobody has to know that when I talked about the Q&A coming out in July, I guess I was Julyan. All right, all right, let's go answer some questions. <laughs> Golem Guy asks, do you think we'll have any crossovers in Splatoon 3? Like the Squid Girl outfit in Splatoon 1. You see, here's the thing. This is Nintendo we're talking about here. While we really didn't have too much in the name of crossovers in Splatoon 2 through our gear, we had plenty of crossovers through the Splatfests. So if you ask me, it'd be fun to like take a step backward and do something with clothes again. I, I really want to hope they'll do some kind of fun anime crossover again, but you never know. They could do something like, oh, wahoo! It looks like the Inklings have found some interesting clothes from the human world. It's Mario, but they don't know what that is, but you know what it is, but they don't, it's, so it's okay. <laughs> ja says, not really a question, but I'm at S plus eight, and I'm so scared that I choke and never make it. Well, this is a month old, so maybe you got to X rank already, but being at X plus eight, I mean, S plus eight, <laughs> imagine if imagine if X had like, had chunks, like S plus, I feel like that would drive people nuts. But um, if you wanna get to X rank from there, I think that you will. If you've been able to work your way up all the way to S plus eight without slipping backwards, it obviously means you have to be doing something right. What that something is is totally up to you, and the best way to improve is always take clips directly on your controller and then just take a peep at what you're doing when you're playing. I, I think that you'll be able to get there. You got this. The real tippy for realsies asks question, am I the real tippy? I I, I think so. Y your profile picture says yes, and it's definitely not an image taken directly off one of my videos. I, I, I don't know you ever, I don't know how you ever, but I ever, no, no, definitely, you're very real, 100%. I don't know how safe I feel about answering this one. This one's from the FBI. <laughs> they ask, question, do you like to perfect gear for fun? So, back when Splatoon 2 first came out, and we had like the chunk grinding system, I, I definitely liked to perfect a lot of my gear. I have, I think, I have per, like pure sets for sub power up, for special power up. I think I almost got some also for ink saver main. I think I did. And like, it was all that I did. I just, I wanted to have pures for every single type of ability. I think I like stopped after like four or five different abilities, but <laughs> I definitely burned a lot of time and a lot of chunks just getting pures, which was a good idea because now I have like max money and Still not all the pures and nothing to do with all of my chunks besides make stuff. Oops. Yoshe says, as a big Metopia fan, I gotta know, if you weren't a fighter in Metopia, what role would you be? So there's one particular set of roles that they have inside of the forest where there are a bunch of characters that pretty much just scream and shout about their favorite fab fairy all day long. And I feel like it'd be fun to be one of them. <laughs> It's just me screaming and cheering for like one of my friends at random, like being like, Oh wow, insert name here, so cool! I feel like that'd just be lovely and chaotic. I'd, I'd do that. Mango says, cat video? Okay, okay, I'll put one right here. Why, why, my son, my son, why? Also, if I had the choice, which of your cats would you turn into a human for a day? I'm assuming that if they turn into a human, they also can like understand what I'm talking about. So the first thing I do is I go over to Tippy. I tell him, you are a human now. He turns into a human. The second thing I tell him is, hey, please stop destroying all my stuff in my room when I don't get out of bed after five minutes. It, like sometimes I wake up in the morning to him like meowing around in the hallways. He walks in, he gives me a head bump, and then he immediately goes to start breaking my stuff. Like, without skipping a beat. Please. Sebastian the Demi Boy asks, Am I walking here? Yeah, I am. Look, look, look at me walk right by. Look at that. Perfect. Ink Idiot asks, Hey Vic, are you feeling a little sussy? N no. W what would you ever make you think that? I didn't vent. Octoweave asks, would you be able to sleep at night if you saw a mix between a Furby and an Inkling? 
All right, I'm gonna try and like conjure that image up for you here. And if I can't, just I can tell you that no, I think I'd lose a few hours of sleep. <laughs> could it have like, I guess it could have like the inkling tentacles still, but like the soulless Furby eyes. Almost, almost like the emoji that you used in the question actually. I I'd say that actually works pretty well. Jared says, question, how do you cut your waffles, Vic? Uh, you take the waffle, you, you cut it down the middle, you cut it through the other middle, and then you just pick it up with a fork and you go at it. No need for cutting after that. Just, just go. Just go. Stan asks, question, how will Splatsville affect your OC? So, the plan is to take Slushy and just throw her into Splatsville. You see, we know that Ammo Nights is gonna be over there, so why not say that my Inkling just got transferred over there? Maybe I wanted to try and see the new weapon options that were over there. Maybe she found out that there were gonna be some brand new weapons, you know, like the bow, and decided that she wanted to try running out somewhere new. Arcanine asks, question, are you planning to get top 500 in X rank? Are you just gonna continue live streams and do league and PBs with things like other Splattubers? The thing about top 500 is you have to realize to truly be top 500, you kind of have to keep it till the end of the month. At least that's my opinion. Other people might feel differently about it, but in my eyes, if I don't have top 500 when the month ends, I don't think I really was at top 500, you know? So I had to put a lot of time and effort into keeping top 500 for the entire month. And while I feel like I could get there, I don't want to put that time into it because I'd rather put it into things like making more streams, making more content, hanging out with people in general. I don't find top 500 worth my time, but sometime I might do it just for the sake of saying that I've done it. Loof says, here's a question because it didn't get answered last time. If you could take any Splatoon 1 map, that isn't already in Splatoon 2, and then put it into Splatoon 3, which one would it be? I know that I've given the case beforehand for Bluefin Depot because it's literally a map that's kind of split in half. I still think that our number two is still Salt Spray Rig. Cause hey, you could just drop a person like anywhere on like the front part of Salt Spray and that can lead to a lot of variety. It's really curious to me if we're actually gonna get like the ability to drop down anywhere after every single spawn or if after that first spawn, we do have like a set spawn point. We'll only find out with time. George says, hey Vic, I ate my dinner today while watching this Q&A video a month ago. I had some nice cod, corn on the cob, and scrummy potato wedges. My question is, what did you have for dinner today? Uh, I door dashed some boneless chicken wings. They were honey barbecue and they were delicious. <laughs> I'm also more of a blue cheese over ranch kind of person for things like boneless wings. I know some people might disagree with that. I'm sure I'll get like at least one comment saying like, oh, Vic, how dare you not pick the ranch? Shroomish asks, is my sister older than me? No, no, my sister is younger than me. The problem with this, since my sister is three years younger than me, is as she gets older, people who are younger than her, I automatically in my mind like assume to be kids, but it doesn't work anymore when you and your sister are both in your 20s. <laughs> Adults now are younger than your sister. Stop. <laughs> Photon says, question for you. You are traveling to Splatsville by train, but you can only take one thing with you. What should you pick? Little buddy doesn't count because he's with the Inkling. Can I have Slushy like take a little journal with her? So like, not only can she have some of the memories that she had over in like the regular area stay, but when she goes to Splatsville, she can like write down the things that happen. It'd be really interesting to have like a journal function in like any Splatoon game. Just that so like maybe as you get better at the game, your Inkling, your Octoling can kind of like record their progress in like a really fun way. I don't think it'd be the same as let's say like a Splatfest post, but it'd be nice just to have the ability to like write stuff down somewhere for fun. Ja says Q&A for December Q&A of 2047. Favorite Sheldon's picks. I am a simple woman. I see a slashing machine. I pick up the weapon. I enjoy the weapon. But otherwise, I really do like the K Jr. Even though I'm not the best at it, I find it fun and I really wish that I could take advantage of like the bubble combos as well as they are. And the K Dynamo is just stupid fun. It, it's one of the most fun rollers in the game. And I've seen before that my audience just loves the K Dynamo. So I mean, if they like it and I like it, what's really to lose? It's just a lot of fun. 
And with so few Booyah Bomb weapons in the game, it it's hard not to enjoy pretty much any of them that exist. Ben says, when the Q&A is on time, not this one. <laughs> you know what? It's summer and burning outside. What is your favorite shaved ice flavor? Ooh. So here on Long Island, we have this like chain called Ralph's. And I don't know if I've like ever really gone to a like shaved ice place that isn't Ralph's. It's like Italian ice. I hope that shaved ice and Italian ice are the same thing as I'm talking right now. And I'll look after I'm recording this, but <laughs> I usually get just like the lemon and lime flavor. I've always been a stickler for citrus fruits, so that one's good. A good old lemon or a good old lime or a lemon and lime combo, perfect. Turkey King says, what would you do if all Splatoon characters had the eye, lip, eye face from now on? I think I would have to turn off Splatoon too. Yeah, I'd have to become a Pokemon content creator right on the spot, no more game. Big T says, hey Vic. Do you think that Octavio will help us in the Splatoon 3 campaign? I don't know. I don't know, like, I want Octavio to still be the bad guy, but I just have concerns that they're gonna do a little, oh no, one of the characters that you really like has been turned evil. Octavio preyed upon Marina's indecisions and said, oh, girl, you lost the Splatfest? Come be evil with me. And despite all of Marina's growth and learning and journey, she is now evil again. That would make me so sad. <laughs> so I don't think that Octavia is gonna be our friend as like nice as that would be. I think what's gonna happen is I'm thinking that he's gonna get involved with all the Grizz shenanigans. Cause I do want Grizz to be a bad guy in the game. And maybe, just maybe, wind up with some kind of Octavia redemption later on. Maybe Octavio realizes, like, wow, this Grizz guy, he's, uh, he's, he's really something else, isn't he? And maybe he's like, you know, the enemy of our enemy is our friend. And then maybe at the end we can, like, work together to take down Grizz. But then, like, not actually be friends at the end. So it stays, like, morally gray. I think that'd be cool. Gracie says, if you could choose one weapon and change one thing about it, what would it be? I want to have the old color scheme back for the slosher. That's... <laughs> That's really it. I actually, for those that don't know, didn't play very much Slosher in Splatoon 1. I only started playing Slosher in Splatoon 2. So whenever I do those streams where I play Splatoon 1 on occasion, I actually really like playing the Slosher because I have very little experience with it. Part of what I enjoy the most about Splatoon 2, and by extension Splatoon 1, is how many weapons there are. It really does help to keep the game fresh. Ryan says, how do you feel about a mixed battles lobby option? Going with the theme of chaos, I had a thought to do three objectives at once. The rules would be five minutes, clear two out of three conditions, and no overtime. Well, what if each team only has one condition cleared? Who, who wins then? It's just whoever is the closest to clearing the condition, I guess? That's interesting, but I'm not exactly sure how it would work. Maybe like a combination clam blitz splat zones could be something more in the jam of throw all the clams into the zone and then you succeed? Or is it that each of the ranked modes exists on the map simultaneously? I feel like with having only four players, it'd be pretty difficult to make sure that everything gets done, seeing as a majority objectives are usually done in a team manner. I can imagine that what would happen over time is the meta might end up moving towards everyone trying to complete one mode at a time, hoping that the other team just won't be as coordinated to stop it, so one team can hopefully get an objective done pretty early and put themselves at a pretty big advantage. Chris says, how do I feel about question marks? Well, you know what? Question marks are pretty cool. They're, they're a good form of punctuation. They're easier to say than exclamation points. I remember when I was a kid, I used to call them explanation points instead. Like, I was explaining something, but I guess <laughs> really aggressively. I'd be like, yeah, that's an explanation point. I think it took until I was like nearly a teenager <laughs> to call them exclamation points instead. So in case you're one of like the three people out there that do that too, it is exclamation point. You got this. Ah says, do you have the idea for a boss salmonid? Okay, okay. So imagine a salmonid in the same style as the stinger, right? But maybe instead of it being made of like pots and pans or something that can fall over, it's made of something that's able to actually twist. Imagine a salmonid that was tall 
and was able to reach over, maybe to like, to hit you from a distance. But it can only do so at like a certain speed, so you'd have plenty of time to move out of the way. Like a very slow moving fist, almost. But maybe it's more like accordion-like in structure, so it can go like back and forth. And it kind of moves forward like a streamer and then like tilts itself all the way back again. I don't know how that would work, but I think it'd be cool. Especially because when it's tilting down to hit somebody, it would be exposing its entire hitbox across that chunk of the map, making it a pretty easy target. I'd be down. Semi Deason says, question, how do I become a real life squid kid? The moment that you start singing you're a kid now, you're a squid now, you might feel some small changes in your DNA. Just, just, just don't worry about it. Just do that every single day for about three weeks, and you'll see that suddenly you have a much better understanding of that glass of water in front of you. Like, the flowing motion of it starts to make sense. Almost like you're a being of inkling... Almost like you're a being of water yourself or something. Oh my god, you're an inkling. Wow, good job. Donut says, what do you think would happen if the Rainmaker could be used as a main weapon? I'd use it in a heartbeat. Now, this is interesting, because the Rainmaker in Splatoon 2 does paint decently well, right? It does do a lot of damage, yes, but you do sacrifice a lot of mobility with the Rainmaker. I do see how the Rainmaker, in a way, can act as just like a giant explosher, but you really do put yourself in a pretty bad place in comparison to even an explosher in terms of your movement. So you'd be a big help for your team, but at times, especially in something like Turf War, you might end up being quite a bit of a liability. As you can't really paint the turf like too fast if you need to, I'm assuming that if the Rainmaker was a main weapon, you probably wouldn't have a sub or a special still because your Inkling does have to hold the Rainmaker with both hands. So I feel like even though it could be a really fun idea, you still would be pretty limited. I would say if you get a sub and special with the Rainmaker, that could make it a big difference and it would probably be playable at that point. But I don't know. I feel like if you made the Rainmaker a main weapon, you have to either weaken it down a little bit and then give it a sub and special, or just let it be free with no sub and special. And I feel like some people would be quite unhappy with not having a sub and special. But yeah, who knows? Some people might just want to make a sweet triple whenever they fire a blast. I'd give it a shot. Silver Schmidt asks a question. <laughs> how do you describe your sense of humor and how does it taste? I'll say uh, my sense of humor is a little bit sour because I tend to really enjoy memes that have gone a little bit stale. Like the Mortitwy meme right now. I can't get it out of my head. Every time I see something on Twitter about it, it just makes me laugh. And this is gonna immediately age this video. Like people are gonna come back to this Q&A in like two months from now and be like, oh gosh, I remember. I remember that meme. <laughs> also, anyone that has spent a good chunk of time on the channel knows that I do enjoy a good amount of punnery as I put puns in a majority of the ads that I do. I enjoy just trying to make people laugh. That's all I want to do. Usually when it comes to a lot of my content, if I laugh at the thing, I assume that others will probably laugh at the thing too. I try to make sure that all my content is funny enough for me, so it's funny enough for you guys. Then that feels like a W to me. Adam says, I need to know if you will take credit for apartments being in Splatoon 3. Nah. I'm sure people have mentioned it before me, and I know people have mentioned it after me. I'm just somebody who helped bring it to light even more by smashing my hands on the keyboard and talking about how much I wanted apartments in Splatoon 3. And then Nintendo decided to grant me why wish. Or, I mean, it, it's kind of granted, but we don't know for sure yet. F fingers crossed. So no, I wouldn't take credit for it, but I'm very excited that something that I said ended up being at least partially true, hopefully true, cross your fingers and maybe it'll be true in a few months true. <laughs> Please. Calvin says, Q&A, who is your favorite villager except for the one and only Tanky? So I would say if I'm going with villagers that aren't on my island right now, when I was a kid, I really used to like Twiggy. The little yellow bird with the blue cheeks. And honestly, if there was any villager that I was gonna hunt for, it probably would be Twiggy. Because <laughs> Twiggy was always so good. And I feel like Twiggy is still cute now. I don't even know if Twiggy is in this game. I, I think Twiggy is in the game. I'm pretty sure we've seen Twiggy before him while crossing, like, islands. <laughs> English. But, yeah. Twiggy good. Axwaddle Gab says, question. Do you know what is ending now? Cue the end of the video. What? what? 
You can't just do that. You can't just make the video end whenever you want. Oh, I... I guess they did make the video end whenever they wanted. Uh, uh, Q&A success! Woo-hoo! I'll be back again with another Q&A, either in September or October. So if you'd like to include your own questions in this Q&A, feel free to do so. You can leave them in the comments right below, and I will answer more of your Q&A questions next time. As this was a 45k Q&A and not an August or July Q&A, wink, I just wanted to say thank you for supporting the channel. It really does mean a lot, and I have a lot of fun making the Q&As, answering questions, and just bringing more thoughts to light. Don't be afraid to talk in the video comments below about whatever you want, whether it's something else that I mentioned about Splatoon 3, whether it's about your favorite dressing for chicken wings, whether it's about uh, how late this Q&A is, lol. <laughs> uh, thank you for supporting again, though, and I will see you in the next Q&A. Uh, bye bye